yummy. Plenty of slime in this one. This will be perfect for dinner tonight. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm going to give you my five top tips on how to grow a ton of okra. Let's get into it. Okra probably originated in Ethiopia, however its exact origin has never been confirmed. Did you know that during the American Civil War, the coffee trade was disrupted and okra seeds were used as a substitute for coffee beans? It's true! So if you want a homemade caffeine-free coffee, just roast some okra seeds and have your very own okra brew. Another interesting thing I found was this red okra plant was strikingly similar in appearance to this rosella, which is one of our favourite plants to grow. And after a bit of digging online, I found it is indeed related to the hibiscus species, which is where rosella comes from. Tip number one, position. I'm growing okra in a high-sided raised garden bed like this, and even though okra can get quite large, this is still my favourite because it offers easy access to maintain the plants, weed around them and harvest pods. Okra likes sunlight, so I recommend you position your okra crop in a place where it gets as much sun as possible, preferably about eight hours a day of direct sunlight. Okra doesn't like shade at all and will even shade out each other. For example, I planted this succession crop several weeks later too close and under another plant and you can see how stunted they are now. Didn't grow well at all. Obviously giving okra enough space at the time of planting is worthwhile and I reckon allowing at least 40 centimetres or a foot between plants or perhaps a little more is about right. I don't stake our okra plants as you can see and they grow just fine but they can get a little leany and leggy so if you wanted more control over your plants you could stake them and train them more upright tip number two timing you've probably noticed that our okra crop is coming to the end of its life and that's because we're heading into our subtropical winter okra grows best in warmer climates it hates the cold and those in colder locations who try growing it at the wrong time won't have much success as it either won't germinate or the cold weather will retard the growth. That's why even in hot climates, it's critical to start okra when the weather is warm enough. So say in a cold or cool climate, you're best off starting okra towards the end of spring and into summer, otherwise it mightn't do too well. And if it gets a poor start, you might have a completely dud season. Here in the subtropics we grow okra through summer and its ability to handle the terrible heat is incredible. It seems like the hotter it gets the better it grows. I tend to sow okra seeds in trays first and then plant out because sowing directly into the garden bed can be a little unpredictable with seeds failing to germinate. A way to help improve germination is to soak the seeds first overnight in a glass of water before planting out. Tip number three, soil. Okra doesn't like wet feet, but then not many plants do. However, it will tolerate a wide range of poor soils, including heavier clay-like mediums. One of the main strengths of this plant is its ability to grow in poor soil and even intermittent watering. Of course, that doesn't mean you deliberately make the plant suffer or neglect it, but if you're a beginner gardener or have a spot in the garden that you just can't grow anything, which we all do, consider trying okra. To get the best out of okra, plant it in a fertile bed with free draining soil and lots of organic matter like compost, and it should grow like a rocket. Tip number four, feeding. Speaking of soil, if you wanna get okra off to a really great start, consider enriching the soil in the bed before planting with a good nitrogen rich organic fertilizer. 
It takes a lot of energy for okra to keep pumping out these seed pods, especially when we're picking them constantly to eat. Therefore, giving it some extra feed or nutrients will help to keep the plant producing all season. A sprinkle of organic fertilizer after four to six weeks from planting, such as a commercial blood and bone or a well-rested, rotted, old animal manures like chicken, quail, horse or cow will do wonders for pod production. Also, adding some compost around the base of the plant mid-season is another great way to give okra a boost and keep it producing these pods. Tip number five, harvest and eating. Now I know this isn't technically a growing tip, but because of okra's unique texture, it's worth mentioning. The first time I tried okra, the texture was like eating a mouthful of saliva. Well, I'm just being honest. If you have never tried okra, the slimy feeling in the mouth can be a little disconcerting. The gooey stuff contains soluble dietary fiber, which is actually very good for humans' digestive system because it feeds good gut bacteria to maintain stomach health. However, there are ways to limit the sliminess of okra, like cutting it up and then soaking it in vinegar or lemon juice pre-cooking or picking okra young, smaller than finger length because they get gooier as they get bigger. And quick char grilling over a hot plate helps also. Red okra tastes exactly the same as green. It's only a different color. And red okra turns green anyway once it's cooked. Okra pods grow super fast, so harvest them young and tender. Don't forget about them because they will quickly grow big and woody and become practically inedible. As a bonus, okra leaves can be eaten cooked or raw when young. Last word on okra. Yes, okra can be a polarizing vegetable to grow and especially eat. Some people love it and others hate it because of the goo. Whatever your opinion, okra as a food crop must be admired because it's hardy by nature, quick growing, and it's very productive. And has no doubt helped millions of people in poorer regions around the world to get a feed when other crops wouldn't hack it. So I say, okra, slime and all, we love you. And if anything, at least you're easy to swallow. And that's it. Those were my five top tips on how to grow a ton of okra. Remember, position, timing, soil, feeding, harvest and eating. Do all those things right and you'll grow a ton of okra just like I can. What are your thoughts on growing okra and maybe eating it too? Is it one of your faves or is it a okra finger thumbs down? Let me know in the comments section below because I'd be interested to read them. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Oh, he's a nice little young fella. We'll grab him for the barbie tonight, eh? Throw a few okras on the barbie. Ooh. Mm -hmm.